Hello and a very warm welcome to this very special episode of Out and About. As you can see here, we're in the heart of central London at Trafalgar Square, where the Mayor of London, in association with ZTV, have put on this very grand event, Eid in the Square. So sit back, relax, as we bring you all the highlights of this incredible event. This is the Eid, Eid in the Square Festival in Trafalgar Square. This is the ninth Eid Festival, and this is all about the celebration of Eid, which is the celebration, the Muslim celebration, at the end of Ramadan. So this is celebrating everything about what's good with the Muslim community in England. So we're celebrating not just the UK Muslim community, but the international Muslim community as well. So we've got food stalls from around the world. We've got Nasheed artists. We've got there's a catwalk. Uh, there's lo loads of other fabulous stuff for kids as well to be entertained. So right throughout the day, it's going to be fantastic. First of all, Eid Mubarak to all Muslims in the UK and in the Arab world. Although this year the day was so long, but I hope that everybody managed to fast. Uh, today we are at Ravalgar Square and we are so proud to be here as a guest for Mayor of London. And uh, I have uh, a few of my um, stands coming from the UAE, uh, Iraq and some other countries. What we are trying to do is to exchange culture between us and the European and to introduce ourselves um, in a happy way. I used to bat my tongue at home my bed, stick it up in bow and make a mess. So I sit quietly, agree politely. I guess that I forgot I had a choice. I let you push me past the rake of boy. I stood for not a thing. Turkish calligraphy, uh, for the letters we are using the Latin alphabet, but in design are coming from the Arabic uh, calligraphy. That's why it's the, uh, it's the mix. Uh, letters are Latin, but uh, designs are uh, Arabic. Uh, and it's, it's look very lovely. Uh, after 12 year uh, experience, I start to do that uh, very fast. And it's very easy for me. It's great to be uh, at Trafalgar, especially at the 8th festival. Uh, that's very great. Uh, I can see uh, here very mixed people, not, ju not just Muslims. And all of people love, everything is mixed. That's why it's great to be here. Thank you. 
I'm going to be brave with Malaysian food. It's very diverse. Okay, that's the best way to describe Malaysian food because um, it's not just Malay food from my origins, but they, we have Chinese and also Indians and of course, Baba and Nyonya and also some of the Portuguese as well. Malaysian food, I mean, the best way to describe it is beautiful and exciting because um, the diversity, okay, so that's why I'm here today. I want to excite people, get them to go home and then cook Malaysian food. That's the whole um, idea. So I'm going to show you how to cook this very simple, very quick, okay? So I've got here onions, which I've already chopped, okay? But you can use like a hand mixer or hand processor and then just um, blend it together. We got, I've got garlic and ginger, which I'm just going to pound this, okay? So nice with that. And when I start frying this, you're going to start smelling it, okay? So let's just check whether the oil is ready because it's very important because you want the ingredients to sizzle. When it sizzles, it bring out all the fragrance, all the aroma, okay? So that kind of sizzles out. No need to put on a high heat because you don't want to burn all your ingredients, okay? So let's start doing it now, okay? Just medium heat will do. Right? So that's right now. Just gonna give a quick stir of that. Okay, and then ready for me to add in this um, ginger and also garlic. Okay, so that is the first batch of ingredients and after this I'm gonna add in like second batch of ingredients, all the spices, okay? Right, let that fry first, okay? And I'm gonna try to get the wind to go flow that way so you can smell it. Can you smell it? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Maybe not making you hungry yet, but wait until like um, after I add in all the ingredients. Okay, right, so second batch of ingredients, I think you know what this is. Yeah? Cinnamon bark, okay, or cinnamon roll. And then um, we have this one. Stainis, yeah? Okay, Stainis, this one. And what about this one? Have you seen this one before? Now this is what we call pandan leaf, okay? Or screw pan leaf. Because what you can do is tie into knot, keep it in the freezer, okay? So, and then in future, if you're gonna cook this again, you can just take it out like that and then put it straight into the saucepan, okay? So that is the second batch of ingredients, right? So while that's cooking, now I'm gonna show you this, um, well, I'm not gonna try to self-promote my curry powder, okay? okay? This curry powder actually been mixed, uh, been toasted and mixed together, well, for you to make it easier. Because you can make this from scratch, which I normally teach at my cookery class, okay? So uh, basically in here, it's got chili powder, turmeric, coriander, fennel, everything been measured and then toasted. Right, you, you don't want to uh, mix it straight away, but what you need to do, you need to mix it with water first, okay? And depending how spicy you want it to be. Do you want it spicy? Yes. Yes? Do you like it spicy? Yeah? Okay, good. Okay, let's make it spicy, okay? So I'm gonna add about like um, three tablespoons, okay? And mix it with water. Okay. Just make sure you mix it well, okay? But this is frying beautifully. And then just mix it together. Okay, right. It starts splitting now. You can see the oil starts separating. Yeah. So that's what. That's how you want. You want to do it. Okay. So I think we're ready to add in chicken. Okay. And after that, I'm gonna seal the chicken. So we've got here jasmine rice as well that we're gonna dish out. Okay. Right. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna seal this chicken. Okay. And I'm just gonna add a bit of water. Okay. And then. Once the chicken sealed, the last ingredient I'm gonna add in is just coconut milk. As simple as that. And um, if you find that the um, the curry is a bit too spicy, two ways how you can cut down the spiciness. The first one is by adding a bit more coconut milk, and the second one is to add something sour like lime or lemon juice or tamarind. Okay. So I'm gonna add a bit of water because I'm creating a bit of gravy to it. Okay, just put this on top. Okay, so we'll color that. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, Malaysian chicken curry. Anyone who loves Malaysian food, I want them to go home, cook Malaysian food, use all the Malaysian products that they can find in London, okay? And then, of course, I mean, they can invite me to go to their kitchen and cook along with them as well.
out such incredible performances that are happening right here in Trafalgar Square, but there's much more still to come, so be sure to join us in a few moments' time.